so the title of charles is presentation is called create a clear financial path create a clear financial path mr charles i caution parents all the time the theory of invisible money and it's even harder nowadays swipe a card tap a card but what do your children say how are they gonna have a value on money when there's no exchange taking place and i would tell you you're probably not paying attention if you don't think that doesn't correlate to debt Okay, this stuff's really important. Now, money is not evil. It is simply a tool. Right? To be used for good or bad, I would say it's a tool of reveal. If you're a person who may not do good things, and you have money, you may do some more bad things. If you're a good person with a good heart, you might do some more good things, okay? Back to the divorce rate, the footprint I talked about. Well, think about man and woman coming together, or whoever it is, my apologies, whoever coming together. Two different footprints, it's a challenge. They have to come together, bridge the gap of the way they see money, how they were raised, what their views are. And so many struggle and fail with it. Again, what do they have to lean on to do that? They weren't taught that stuff, like I said. So unless you're pursuing it, looking into it, and believe me, I know there's a lot of information out there, right? What's the main source of information it seems anymore? Well, social media. The internet. The problem with that is there's so much information. There's so many people out there. Where do you start? Who do you talk to? What's the right thing to listen to? Paralyzed is what people become. They do nothing. Right? So these are important things. We have to be good stewards of our money. But we have to know what to do. That's the problem. So, I was going to show you a video clip here that I can at the moment, okay? There's some powerful concepts that I talk about that I teach. I use, I use these motion graphics videos to do this, to really bring it about, right? And maybe you've heard of some of them, but I will say this. If you have, that's wonderful. But how many apply them consistently throughout time when things change? So you need somebody to help you with things like that. So I talk about two impactful things, the rule of 72. And I'm going to please bear with me because, again, we don't have the visualization of this. But it's something I learned at some point in time that was really impactful to me. And it's the way you look at developing wealth. Okay? So many people, and I was told to do this at a young age. Put your money in the bank, put your money in the bank, put your money in the bank. That's where you save money, right? Well, nowadays, that's maybe not the best choice. Because if you're saving money at the bank, you're guaranteeing losses, right? So what else do you do? And again, there's a lot of things out there. Everybody uh, sees this stuff going on out there and investing in things. That's good. you got to try that stuff. But when you're in a market like this and you're starting to feel the pain, then you might realize you... There's a few things you might need to know more, right? So the rule of 72 is how you double your money. That's the idea. It's a matter of time. So the idea is this. You take an amount of money. Let's say it's $10,000. And you divide that. by the. You take the interest rate. So let's say it's 3%. And we're just, we're, we'll, we'll try to speak nicely about how the bank does things. 3% into 72, right? What's that? 
What's that, 24? Okay, so what that means, it will take 24 years for your 10,000 to double to 20. Okay? Now, if you say 6%, what's that? 6 into 72. 12. And that will take you 12 years, half the time, to double your 10 to 20. Okay? And you can just keep going up the ladder. That's how you start to look at investing the proper way. Now, there's other components to this. Don't get me wrong. But you want to make sure you're in the right places, doing the right things. And the power of compound interest. Here, here's the other thing, and I don't want to run out of my time. I'm good? Okay. So, financial independence number. Anybody heard of this or know of this concept? Probably have. Okay. The most important number in your financial life. In my opinion, it's the one most people don't know, and it's the amount of money that you're going to need at the time you want to retire that's gonna allow you to do so with dignity and not have to worry about going back to work at some point in time. And I would tell you that if you don't know what your personal number is, how are you ever going to get there? And what I see people do all the time Standardly put into their 401k, which I encourage, of course, get the free money if there's a match. But if that's all you're doing and you're just kind of hoping it's going to work out at the end of the road, well, sometimes that's where you find people working longer than they want to be. All right, so these are important things. So, a little bit about myself here. Do you know how much time I have left? 12 minutes, okay. So, uh, I'm trying to think maybe another concept, but let me just go here, down my story, a little bit about me, how does this correlate, how did I get here, I guess, and what do I do? So, when I was young, I felt money was something we weren't supposed to have a lot of, because we didn't. As a matter of fact, I thought I was the only child left in the world wearing bell-bottom jeans to school. Some of you can relate to that. Yeah. Was not my favorite choice at the time, but I didn't have choice, right? So, as I got older, I continued to watch the people in my family, my loved ones around me, struggle, fight over money, no savings, Right? Sometimes worrying about how you're going to eat. Those kinds of things. Now, going forward, I had friends. I seen there was better. They had better things. I could see there's more out there. So I started to develop the mindset, well, when I start a family, I'm going to do better. Problem was, I had that footprint of what I had and thought of money. The box, Sade. The box. Very good analogy. Right? So I ended up doing the same things. Traveling down those same roads. Drowning in debt. It's frustrated. Really frustrated. How do I ever do better? Well, thankfully, I persisted, found myself in the world of finance, and learned a few things. I learned some concepts, but more importantly, the tools to then take and apply to our situation to get us out of the mess we were in. And look, let's face it, we've all been there. It's changed our lives now. So at that moment, I'm talking to my wife, Sherry. She's in the back there at the table. I'm like, can you imagine how many people must have felt the way we did? Had the questions we had, wanted to be better, just don't know where to go, what direction, right? Everybody's clamoring for that 1% in my industry, that is. So through that, set forth to start my practice, Swope Financial Partners and help those people 
get out and help those people who need it. Right? So, what I kind of do there is I partner with people to help them create a clear financial path for their lives. I don't charge for my time because I am a believer. We are a believer or believers that everybody should have the opportunity to worry less about their money and enjoy life more. So no matter whether you're just starting out, working towards or in retirement, I meet people where they are. Because that matters. Because what I experience, so many people will ask for help in other areas of their lives way before they will their finances. And maybe it's because they feel judged or ashamed, but you'll never get that from me. So if you're somebody that's looking to create a clear financial path for you, your family, my table's back there. There's some information you can fill out. I'd be happy to take that journey with you. Do you want to find out your personal financial independence number? Again, something I can do. However, my banner over there, which I'm pretty proud of, is cool. They did a good job with it. Uh, you can scan the QR code. It takes you two minutes to figure out what is your financial independence number? What is the target you're looking for? So that's just about my time. Appreciate it, everybody. God bless you.